Well, hey guys, welcome back to the channel again. Yeah, flea market finds. How about a lodge pan for five bucks? Pretty rough on the inside, but uh, still a lodge. Now here's another lodge I got for five bucks. It's rough on the outside, but it's a lodge. See the little cuts? Yes, it's a lodge. I don't know what date until I get it cleaned up. Now this one is a really nice pan. Uh, this is probably the deal of the day, I think. Five bucks, 1930s to 40s. Look how clean it is. This is the way it came off the shelf at the flea market. It's in really, really good shape, guys. And this one's also a BSR pan, which is for Birmingham Stove and Range. This is the early 1960s. I paid 10 for it, but because it was in such good shape. Now this was one that was given to me. As you can see, there's a good reason why. It's a made in Taiwan, but this one I bought a couple of years ago for $2 at a yard sale. It's a Cracker Barrel griddle type, and I'm gonna clean them up today. Now, guys, I did get lots of comments on my last video about using fire, but let me explain to you why I like using my smoker, because these pans range in different severity of you know nastiness. So this end I've got 900 degrees, and if you go to the other end of the smoker where the smokestacks at, we're down to 400. So I've got temperature ranges all in between on the smoker that I can kind of move the pans around, keep them warm, slow down the cooling off process. If I go from 900, I'm not gonna pull them out, I put them on the other end. So thanks for watching guys. I'll try to get another video out today showing you the before and afters.